Training and luck were certainly on a fighter pilot's side when his plane failed mid-flight. The jet crashed just outside of neighborhoods in Prince George's County near Joint Base Andrews. WJZ is live. Kimberly Eaton explains what may have happened inside his cockpit before the pilot had to bail out. Kimberly? And Jessica, an experienced military pilot, tells WJZ when the plane failed, the F-16 pilot may have kept going only on airflow in order to get away from neighborhoods. His fighter jet failed, but his training didn't. Training is all the time, every week. Mixed with luck, that kicked in as an F-16 came crashing down in Prince George's County Wednesday, where neighbors watched the pilot safely parachute out. I've never seen anything in my life like this. Brigadier General Scott Kelly has spent decades in the cockpit of an A-10, another type of fighter jet. Anywhere you hear there's a crash, okay. Uh, what, what's happening with the crew? How'd they do? Did they get out? Military investigators are still trying to pinpoint the problem that sent the 30 year old plane spiraling to the ground, likely a mechanical failure, ending what was a routine training mission. 33 years and 4,000 flight miles into his career, General Kelly says there are some problems that pilots can't predict, but they can train for. You look at the pilot and what he did, and obviously to avoid populated areas, and that's one of the things that we're all taught to do. In this case, saving hundreds of lives before bailing out at the last minute to save his own. We can replace machinery. Uh, we can't replace the people. No deaths and damage to only one home. But from the air, you can see just how close of a call this was. And the pilot was out of the hospital and home with his family within hours of that crash, we're told, with only minor injuries. Reporting in Baltimore, Kimberly Eaton, WJZ Eyewitness News. Kimberly, thank you. Investigators gave themselves 72 hours from the time of the crash to figure out what went wrong.